All right, before we get to the video, I forgot to uh, plug myself. And of course, it won't be an OnlyFans video without a shameless plug. So make sure to go down below. Not only like and comment, but click all my links down below. And make sure to check me out on all my platforms. As well as my Instagram that I just had a remake. Because Instagram does not seem to like me. And as well as my Twitter. Of course, go follow my Twitter. Because that's where I'm really active at the moment. So hope you guys keep watching and like this video. Oh. Okay, so I am really irritated. I have tried to record this video about like five times. No matter what I do, I just don't seem to like it. So I'm just gonna deal with it. Whatever this take ends up happening to look like, it's just gonna do because I really wanna freaking post this, but I'm just really OCD and nitpicky about everything. So apologize for the lights or the sounding or anything like that. Or also this weird, ugly ass wall behind me. I am in my basement currently trying to film this with a lamp and a dryer going off next to me. So we'll see how I end up, honestly, how well this video ends up doing. And if it does end up doing well, that's fine too, because this is mostly just for me to have the numbers in the future, I guess. Also for any one of my friends out there who have asked me a dozen fucking times to do this shit, uh, this is for them mostly, so. If you're anybody else, hi, welcome. But this is basically going to be my OnlyFans. I'm, I'm sure you guys can see from the title. It's going to be my two month update of OnlyFans. Also, kind of, can you make money in 2022 on OnlyFans? I'm seeing a lot of videos about, like, you know, making money in 2022 on OnlyFans. But all the girls that are making these videos, they all, all their accounts are from, like, Pandemic. So to me, I don't feel like that's a really fair, honestly, video because you really don't know anymore. You have a good following as it is. Also, I'm finding a lot of girls who just don't post their receipts. I want to see the numbers. I am such a big like visual person. I need to see that little chart that OnlyFans gives you. And I will be posting mine when I like say my little thing on my paper I got. I'll be posting the little thing on the screen or something like that. It'll be up. So, but basically, yeah, this is just going to be uh, what my numbers were starting out with almost no following, only really promoting on Snap, on like a private Snap that I made, and then um, Twitter. I promoted on Twitter quite a bit. I try to use Reddit. I personally, I don't know if I'm just old or just have really bad like luck, but I cannot understand it for the life of me. I've watched dozens of videos. I've had my friends try to like explain it. I'm just an old lady. I can't, I can't figure it out. But for all the girls who can, God bless you because again, my little peanut brain could not figure it out. So, um, we're going to start with the basics of kind of when I started, which was June 5th. I should have known that, but I had to look at that to make sure I was giving you the right number. Started June 5th, 2022. Um, I started kind of later because of the fact it took me a very long time to even bring it up to my fiance because I have been engaged. Um, I've been with my um, fiance for about three years. I've been engaged to her for about two. So I was really worried to go up to her and, you know, with this idea of this like side hustle, of, like making more money. And then it ended up being this kind of fight maybe, or maybe uh, me being like, I don't love you type situation. Cause that was not it at all. I've just seen, I've seen all these girls who did it and loved it and I really wanted to. So I finally brought it up to her one night and she was completely down. <laughs> she goes, it's your body, your choice. You do what you want. And I'm fully, I'm fully on board. And I love that. So uh, the next day I actually started like making content, um, which was so exciting for my first time making content. What was more exciting, my first time selling. The first time I sold a piece of content, I like almost like screamed and giddy <laughs> because of how excited I was. I love it so much when I actually sell my content to people or when people subscribe to me because it's like ex ex exhilarating, it's exciting. It's a weird feeling. I don't know if any other creators get that feeling, but I do. <laughs> so it was definitely really exciting for me to do it, but it took me a very long time for me to start which was kind of a handicap for me because of the fact that um, it messed me up a lot. I could have honestly had a probably bigger following than I do now if I would have started in like pandemic time when I first wanted to, but also 
you know everything happens for a reason i think so i i think if i'm meant to like blow up or something it'll happen now right <laughs> so i guess let's get on to the numbers because i know that's what y'all kind of want um and yeah we're just gonna get on to the numbers again sorry if i'm moving and this light gets like really white and stuff i'm gonna try to fix that but it's just such a fucking bright light or it's such a bright light i gotta cut that out because i cursed um so again i started june 5th um started at 10.99 i kind of started lower i did post about 20 pieces of like things just on my timeline instantly because i needed something out there just so people see like i'm not having like one picture and it's 10.99 i wouldn't want to pay 10 bucks for a picture so i did post quite a bit um quite a few pictures before even actually promoting on my snapchat about it um the, so yeah, I promoted on um, a Twitter and Snapchat, started at 10.99. Um, the gross takeaway, so here's the thing about OnlyFans. They tax 20%, which is not bad. Think of it, think of it as your regular nine to five job. You get taxed for, for social, you get taxed for medical, you get taxed for all of it, right? OnlyFans kind of does something similar. They tax you 20% of whatever you end up bringing in. So if you pay $5 for a picture, um, OnlyFans takes 20% of your $5 that you paid from the creator and taxes them. So they only get about the other 80%, which is not bad. Not bad at all. 20% is fairly reasonable, I feel like, to me. You know what I mean? I completely get it. This is, very, this is the most legal way to possibly do this. So understandable why they have to do some taxes. So gross, I made $503.06. Takeaway, I only br I only brought home four hundred and two dollars and forty one cents, which is not bad for your first month of starting. It wasn't even an actual full month because again I started on the fifth, so it was a few few days after. A lot of following. I had about six hundred people on my actual snap. On my private, I probably only had about fifty. So either way, it wasn't a whole big of following. My Twitter, my first one, only got about three hundred subs before it got banned. This one, I've gotten a little bit out there. It has about 800 subs now, but not every follower on my, you know, Instagram, or not my Instagram, but my Twitter is gonna follow, you know, my OnlyFans, which is completely understandable. Um, but that's just kind of the facts. That's just where I promote, because everything else kind of flags me. <laughs> everything just doesn't like me. I've tried to use Reddit. I don't know if I'm just old, but I cannot figure out Reddit to save my life. I've had dozens of other creators. I even had my personal friends try to explain it to me. I could not figure it out for the life of me. For you girls who can, God bless you. Good luck for you. But that wasn't just for me. So, which is fine. Every everybody, every creator is gonna have their own thing that works. The only thing that doesn't. But I find that Snap and Twitter worked for me. So I ended up getting about 16 subs from of that. From the 16 subs, I got 123 dollars and four cents. That's what that's what just my subscribers gave me tips tips on my post and my and my messages i got 175 dollars and 38 cents just tips that was actually really good i was getting like 50 dollar tips from certain people um like once or twice so it was kind of cool right it was kind of fun um messages though i was um 103.99 that is anything that was custom or like they deemed me personally and was like, I want this, this, and this. So I gave them that, that, and that, whatever, you know what I mean? So about 103.99 cents. I don't honestly think that's too bad. A lot of girls look at these numbers like, really, that's all? Honestly, that's not bad for, again, starting with almost nothing, not really promoting, not really telling anybody about it because when I first started I didn't tell anybody other than my fiance that it was me I didn't even show my face in the beginning now I do show my face I, I I don't care as much I am turning 21 years old I'm 20 years old now um and I'm an adult it's my life my body my choice you know what I mean you guys can take away a lot from me but you guys can't take away my right to record myself shaking my butt simple <laughs> so going on to july this was all of july basically so this is my second month i lowered my price to 9.99 only because not that 10.99 was doing me bad it wasn't i just felt like i still didn't have as much content as i wanted to so i was going to lower the price to where i felt comfortable which was 
about $9.99. <laughs> Same with like most subscriptions, I guess. I was, I felt like that was a pretty good number to start with. I started promoting more on Twitter and Snap. I started um, doing scheduling promoting too, to where I would have a calendar. I wrote down, promote this picture, this, this, and this on this, this, and this platform. So I was getting a little bit more um, organized about all of it, about my content, about my following. I do write all of my followers down on a piece of paper at the moment because what a lot of people don't realize is you can just change your name on um, <laughs> on OnlyFans super easy. And if you don't remember usernames, that a lot of people can trick you on a bunch of stuff. They can end up actually scamming you sometimes. And I just to be safe of that. I do keep a mental note, an, an actual physical note of everybody who subs, unsubs, and all of it. You know, I should keep it down on a piece of paper as well as OnlyFans does tell me who subs and unsubs as well. Um, but July, you will notice I did like about 25% better I feel like I mean I did a good amount better so gross I made $859.74 takeaway I was able to bring home $600.87 sorry bad with numbers dyslexia gets me um, but I mean that's pretty good that's basically like 200 more dollars than I brought home you know the month before which was my whole goal my whole goal is every month to just try to keep getting a little bit more and a little bit more better and be able to bring home more and more dough you know that's all it's about it's about the, it's about the bread um so which was really fun also my subs went from 16 to 24 so almost got like almost a full 10 subs more which is amazing because again i just kept promoting more promoting works promo 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 it works get out there it really does um but wait till I read off the actual numbers of where the money came from. Then you'll kind of understand maybe why I got a little bit better. My subs only gave me $168.55. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. I do a lot of like 25% off promo. I, I do referral codes. So if you refer anybody who um, subscribes to me, you get a free month. That happens for every person. You get five people to subscribe to me get five free months i've had somebody who got 12 people to subscribe to me at one point they now have a whole year free <laughs> um which you um you know what i mean that's just how things kind of go i figured that was a fair you know fair thing not only do i give you something for helping me get out there and get you know get new person but i also get that person <laughs> so i just felt like it wasn't even you know it wasn't even win for everybody right <laughs> tips though i only made 51 bucks and 21 cents I know really low people don't tip as much anymore I kind of already see that happening in August too people don't tip as much as more but it's because my messages I got $468 even like that is a lot from just messages and it's because the PPVs also custom content I do a lot of customs that's what people mostly message me for people will message me ask me to get this outfit or wear this or do this or whatever and I do normally for a fair fair reasoning and a fair price. You know what I mean? So honestly, not bad numbers for the first two months. I do plan on doing a three month video in about a few weeks and everything when I get actually to the full three months and I get my full numbers for August, which is the month that we're in right now. Um in the very beginning um i am recording this in like the mid beginning of august it probably will be out probably later august because i'm really bad about posting things but <laughs> but i will be posting it because like again i do want to start posting more if this gets any interaction i will be definitely posting more even if it doesn't you'll be seeing my face again because i like to post i like to hear my voice sometimes it's a little funny and I have a bad memory. So this is good for me that if I ever lose this piece of paper and lose my account or lose my number to my OF, I can just YouTube myself and <laughs> get my numbers again. Cause these are all accurate numbers. Like I said, I'll have the actual picture of everything on the screen in between like what I'm saying. Um, but I do have, and if you guys don't believe me, I literally wrote down it all this is for august i just haven't filled it all out because it's not done yet but it's my june and july's uh 
because I wanted to at least do this for three months and that would after the three month mark is when I'll know fully if I want to continue continue this but I will say as of coming from a two month mark I love it um it's been really empowering I really enjoyed it I've had a lot of people come out of the woodworks with hating and a lot of like negativity but I've also had a lot of people from my life and you know from everybody else with positivity, you know, with people saying, you know, oh, well, because of you, I started doing this and I feel more comfortable. And that's all it's honestly about. At the end of the day, we're all adults who do this. Hopefully minors do not enter, but we're all adults and we should be able to choose what we do and who we show our bodies to. And if I want to show my body to whoever pays me, that should be fine, right? All right, you guys, I think 20 minutes of rambling is enough for the first day of seeing me or at least seeing me again after all these years. So um, leave a like below. Also leave a comment below of anything that you guys have any questions you guys need me to answer or just anything you guys want to see me to do in the future. Um, like I said, this is a lot for me, but also a lot for you guys. I would love to have, like, a, honestly, would love to have more people to talk to about all this and have more people to explain things to maybe help out because I know a lot of girls just are kind of nervous and scared to do this because you know it's a very big step it's honestly it's the internet once it's out there it's out there forever and you can't really take it back like that so it's a really something you guys definitely do consider all the pros and cons which I can make a pro and con video because I literally have a pro and con list that I made when I first started um so let me know if you guys want to see that also I also want to do um, story time, like OnlyFans story times, because even though I've only been doing this for two months, I have a load. I don't know if it's just me, but I've had some crazy encounters, either promoting or selling my stuff. So let me know if you guys want to see that too. I will, and as always, I'll leave all my links below so you guys can get in contact with me anywhere. I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have my snap will be below all my spicy pages will also be below so just let me know you can always you can also message me on here as well i'm always always going through my messages to try to reply as quickly as possible to people um i even was in the <laughs> in the past with my like, with my piercing videos which i won't be stopping those so if you guys are normally here for those i won't be stopping those completely but i do plan on doing only fan videos a lot too so if you guys like this content please do stick around because expect a lot more of this. This and Piro Scenes will probably be the only thing you'll see on my channel. So just let me know, guys. All right. And with that, peace out, you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whichever the hell you guys are watching this with. And I hope money will find its way to you and to in, in your doors. And I hope goodness will come your way. All right, sweeties. Bye.